those. Let's hit this what to know list very quickly on a couple things we didn't cover. Um, just kind of some helpful things. Number one, appropriate touch. This to me is a very simple thing. You mind if I, can I touch you? <laughs> um, um, it's just to be mindful of touch. Where do you touch somebody? What's safe? Lower back, small of the back, hips. No, right? You know, pretty much it's kind of in this area, right? Uh, kind of back, shoulder. Um, and I always say, if you're trying to get somebody's attention, use the back of your hand, like this, as opposed to grabbing, right? Just think of, I mean, this, it sounds silly to think about, but I was, like when you're gonna approach somebody and you're gonna touch them, think number one, do you have their permission to, to touch them? Um, you know, hey, um, we're doing this one thing, um, I need this person to go over here, is it all right if I show you where to stand? Oh yeah, so I've given you permission to kind of show, you know, kind of that thing, so think of permission. And then just think of, how anything would be perceived. A poke in the side, a tickle in the back, you know, kind of a massage thing around your neck or shoulder. You know, some people, you just gotta be very sensitive and always go to the lowest way of, of getting somebody's attention or touching, if it's, you know, a quick touch on the shoulder to get somebody's attention. Obviously, if they're gonna go, you know, falling off the edge of the building, you can grab them, you know, like. To be careful even of what you say about where you are and where, you know, um, oh yeah, my friends and I, we were out, we were at the Irishman, got totally drunk last Friday. <laughs> yes. uh, you know, I mean like, is that appropriate to disclose that, right? You know, so but to start talking about your personal romantic relationships, what you and your friends do on Friday night, that starts to get to be a little bit outside of the realm of your role in that situation. Does that make sense? So, th so sharing information and then sharing things like, where you live and your phone number and how to friend me on Facebook would really fall outside the relationship. That kind we of as sense. humans have uh, the right to protect ourselves and, and our space, including sexual, anything sexual. So touch, again, showing somebody something, telling a joke, saying something about the opposite sex, um, though that's all considered sexual harassment. What to know is no sexual or romantic relationship. Don't even don't even say, "Now what's the law on this?" Right? Don't even go to that. Just don't do it. And part of that becomes now not illegal, but I would say an, on an ethical ground. An ethical ground largely would be summarized as saying um, to think of the power dynamic in your relationship. Stop being a mentor and say. I've decided not to be a mentor. I'm out of this. I'm not going to be involved. And that, that then takes the supervisory relationship to this is another person that I want, you know, want to have a relationship with. Child abuse and neglect, when to report. So if you suspect it all, again, for who you are, your role in this program, err on the side of of bringing it up to a teacher or supervisor than not saying anything, okay? Always err on the side of that. And if you're, and if you're not sure, you put into Google search en engine reporting child abuse and neglect, they'll probably pop up with, the, there's an 800 number in the state of Washington that you can call. And essentially you can call and you can even ask and say, you know, I, so I, you know I'm a mentor at this high school and uh, I, you know, I saw this, I just wondered, there'd be somebody there that would talk you through. I mean, this is, Go talk to somebody about it, teacher, principal, come to one of us, Andrea, I, I mean anybody, anybody, ask about it and they can help you through that. If Listen, they're harm to self and harm to others. If somebody is gonna harm themselves, uh, attempt suicide, attempt to hurt themselves, cutting themselves, any harm to self, that would be a situation where you could not promise confidentiality and would need to, uh, would need to report it. And I'll say more about being a mandatory reporter in a second. Secondly would be uh, harm to others. So somebody says, you know, gosh, that guy, he makes me so mad. Three of us after school, we're gonna go like totally jump him, beat him up when he's going into his car, whatever, right? That's, so that's somebody saying, I'm gonna hurt somebody else. That would be a situation where, um, where you uh, <coughs> cannot promise or maintain confidentiality, okay? I just have like a quick question, because um, what about like culturally? Because like in Ireland, um, like how do you tell the difference between abuse and discipline? Like when you see like bruises or marks and stuff, because like, okay, anyway, like in my culture, we have this thing called like sasa or fasi. Like if you act up, you get beat. That's like our discipline. And like, how do you, like, you know, because like, 
there's a difference, well, for me, there's a difference between getting abused and getting beat because you did something stupid. So, like, and then, like, do you report getting beat because it's just, like, kind of weird? Because culturally, to me, getting, like, fussy and stuff, that's not bad. But getting, like, abused, I don't really, like, know how to tell the difference. Um, somebody explained this to me one time because uh, I kind of asked the same question. And um, he said, like, you know, we were all raised differently. Um, not to say that one way is better or not, but like, we are who we are because of that. But the, the way that everything is set up now in society, like, that stuff is like, frowned upon and stuff like that. So even if it is, even if it, it, even if it's a very gray line like, between those two things, but still, like if we know, like we're legally, we have to, do, we have to say something, even if it is cultural. Like um, it's, that's basically our argument. Like we do, we are legally bound to report stuff like that.